What's up, YouTube? So this is technically just a Q&A. Kind of get to know me if you don't know what Q&A means. It just basically means question and answers. Had a poll on Instagram that I did. Or not a poll, but a question fill out form. Just so I could kind of have you guys get to know me a little bit better. Like why I started. How I do what I do on a daily basis. If you don't know me, my name's Seth. Uh, AKA Seth Shreds. A dope little name I created for myself. But... Um, I didn't get too many of these, but I got enough to make a good little, you know, video out of it. So the best gyms in College Station. I go to Gold's, so there's a couple different gyms. There's a Gold's gym, there's a ch couple True Fits, and then there's a little hidden gym that I have. Uh, I don't really tell anybody about it because it's kind of like my little safe keep place. I definitely gatekeeping. The next question is, is will you take my... I can't do that. I'm very sorry. I'm a man of God, and uh, I will not do that. Uh, favorite muscle group to train? I've been all over the place for a while. I really liked or really enjoyed hitting legs. Hold on. Let me... It really just depends on, like, what I'm lacking the most or what I need to work on. Legs and I'd say arms because my shoulders overtake everything, so buys and tries. Squat, bench, and deadlift PRs. Um, I actually don't squat, bench, or deadlift. I just don't think it's optimal for growth. And I believe that there's a thousand other lifts that you can do that can replace those three. Um, obviously, they are known to be the best lifts to grow uh, size and strength. But I train for aesthetics. I do train for strength, just not very often. I'm a big fan of squat, bench, and deadlifts. Favorite? cutting meal. I don't really cut or bulk. I'm just kind of on a consistent lean bulk and half of the time I eat whatever I want. For instance, I haven't had a cheat meal in about a week so I decided to get Domino's and down the whole pizza because I'm a <laughs> So choose uh, something that was I guess cutting rice and ground turkey um, with a little bit of either ketchup which I know sounds gross but you can't hate. Um, or some type of sauce, such as like a low-cal teriyaki sauce. This one says, it's not a question, just wanted to say I love you. I want to tell you that I not only love you, but I love each and every one of you. Support for the past four months has been absolutely insane. I never thought I'd be where I am today. Well, there's the highs and there's the lows. I've grown significantly and I've motivated and inspired a lot of people. And I plan to do so much bigger things by the end of this year. I love you. How'd you stay on track with your goals? Listen, being consistent and being disciplined has got me where I am today. Don't get me wrong, I have my fun. I do the things I probably shouldn't do. Going out and staying up way too late and, you know, not getting the right amount of sleep. And in all honesty, there's gotta be some type of balance. So why I stay on track with my goals is because I have the discipline and motivation and mental mindset to know 
the things that I want to achieve. And you can't achieve anything in life if you don't put forth the effort or have the mental capacity slash discipline to take it to the next step. If you can overcome the negativity and self-doubt and derealization of what you're doing or who you are or who you're trying to become, then the world is yours. Doing workout slash eating meals but still not getting results. Um, if you're working out consistently and you are eating the meals that you should be eating, not getting results, it's either one of two things. You're not training with enough intensity. You can say that you train every day and you do this and you do that and you do your cardio, but if you're not training with the intent, then you're not training with enough intensity to get the job done and train with the amount of intensity that it's like my last training session. If I'm not uncomfortable, I'm not going to get anywhere towards my goals. Number two, your diet may be off. You can say you're eating the right meals. You may be eating too high of carbs, too high of fat or saturated fat. You're not watching sugars, eating healthy. There is a difference of watching what you eat and eating your diet. Intensity slash and training with intent and actually watching your diet. Right? Oh boy. This is what got you into the gym. I was dating this chick and some people's stories are different than others. She basically cheated on me, and, well, let me backtrack. It's kind of had a sort of, like, lifting experience because I played baseball my whole life, so I've always lifted for, mainly for, like, athleticism, keeping my body healthy. Junior year, recruiting was, like, super heavy. Baseball was always something I kind of, like, when I was upset or happy or excited or anything, I would use my emotions to play the game because I loved the game. I put my all into it. So my grandma had passed away watched her take her last breath so that was pretty disheartening I didn't really have too many offers and I was simply being outwards because I was letting my emotions get the best of me at the time and I decided to punch a mirror and shattered my hand in the most important time of recruiting so I continuously put my hard work and dedication into people who didn't have the same beliefs or thoughts into me all the way up until college. Now continuously lifting, it was college baseball season, and I basically got told that I wasn't good enough to play on the varsity roster. In JUCO, there's there's varsity, and then there's JV. So JV is basically like your non-traveling team. It's kind of a practice squad. Well, I wasn't going to settle for this, so I basically started working out even harder. Uh, I was doing two practices a day, had scheduled meals, had scheduled classes. It was basically a cluster <laughs> So then, it was about halfway through the season, I was called into my coach's office because he found my Instagram, uh, probably only a month or two after me posting, and he ripped me a new one. I didn't know what I was doing, that I shouldn't be lifting off campus, uh, that I shouldn't be doing extra lifts because I could get hurt. Coach just basically laughed at me, he laughed in my face, told me that this was, I don't want to say anything specific, but told me it was a stupid thing for me to be doing outside of baseball. It's kind of ironic because my coach was overweight. But they all kind of laughed at me, so I kept doing my thing. I told them that I wasn't going to stop lifting because they're the ones who told me in the first place that I was not strong enough for college baseball, that I wasn't ever going to play college baseball, although they offered me in the end. Then I moved to College Station so I could be around sort of like-minded people but also still have the college atmosphere and when i got here oh, diet was so on point i was actually five percent body fat i was pretty uh pretty lean i was still going through some things i quit baseball so that was pretty sad and uh, i had no idea what i was doing with my life at the end of the day your physique or what you've built for your body is not something that can be made fun of because you're in there working Nobody can steal it. Nobody can tell you you can't have it because you have it. You've worked for it. Simple as becoming a better person and becoming who you want to be. The main reason I got into the gym was just because I was tired of being let down, tired of depending on other people, tired of trying to prove to people that I'm worth something because I know and God knows that I'm worth more than anyone can ever imagine. Um, and you are too. No matter what you're going through or what you've been through, you will always come up on top uh, through God's light. God will shine his light on you. He'll show you the path. He'll show you the way. Um, and just know that you are loved not only by God and you're loved by me. So I absolutely love to inspire and motivate and push people to their limits, um, giving people advice, helping people, 
you know, putting a smile on their face. Just know that things will change and you just have to put your all and your heart into it. Let anybody tell you that you can't trace your dream. Let anybody ever tell you that you can't move forward in life. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you're not worth anything. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't be who you want to be because at the end of the day, it's you and yourself versus the world of God by your side and you can accomplish absolutely anything. Keep up with my Instagram at all. I do this a lot, which might have a derogative meaning to some people. You and yourself versus versus the world. So it's kind of just like a little meaning that I have. It's a little hand signal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I want you to aspire to inspire. Motivate yourselves and motivate anybody else around you that you can. Yeah, that's me. That's Don't let anyone get in your way. Never let anyone get in your way. So I'm always open. My DMs are always open if you guys need anything. Um, it's at Seth Shreds. I'll put it right here. So my DMs are always open. Um, but again, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Stay ready. Okay.